break I'm looking for We get behind me pull out every star I want a happy ending You're tired of pretending We've been expecting you over an hour. It's that stupid recording. The Kaniskis are very sorry. They cannot talk to you now. They are either away or in the bathroom. <laughs> when you hear the beep, leave your message. If it's in Polish, speak slowly. Pop, this is Carl. Remember me? Your son. Where the hell are you? This is not a recording. I just love these pictures of Grandpa when he was a little boy in the old country. Yeah, he looks like Shirley Temple after a bad night. This is my favorite one where Grandpa's holding his giant piggy bank. Look closer, Samantha. Do you see a slot in its back? No. It's a real pig. Ah, oh, that must be them now. If you'd listened to me, none of this would have happened. If I'd listened to you, we'd be back in Poland eating raw potato. Hi, folks. Hi, now. Well, what happened? Well, we had a little accident. No, I think she meant since the wedding. <laughs> Stanley stopped short on the freeway to avoid hitting an airplane. <laughs> there was an airplane on the freeway? Actually, it was a fly on his glasses. <laughs> no, it was an enormous fly. I thought it was a 747. <laughs> and the guy in back rear-ended you? Yeah, and then the car in front front-ended us. And the car alongside side ended us. <laughs> we should have heard the name calling. We had to take a taxi here. Oh, I'm just so glad you're safe and sound. Well, I'm safe, all right. Sound is up for grabs. <laughs> Samantha, how about some checkers? Sure. Grandpa, let me take your coat first. No, 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 no. The coat stays on. Well, all right. I'll be back. What do you want to see me about, Mom? Sonny, I'm worried. Your father got a letter in this morning's mail, and he's been acting strange ever since. He's got the letter in his overcoat, and he won't let me see it. You think he's got a bimbo? Come on. No, I mean it. He always had an eye for younger women. He winks at anything under 70. Come on, Ma. You can still turn his head. Yeah, and it takes a chiropractor to turn it back. But he's acting so strange. Look at him, sitting there in an overcoat in the house. You don't think that's strange? Maybe he's cold. The only time he gets cold is when he leaves the trap door down on his long john. <laughs> Mom, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical reason why Pop's wearing his coat. Like what? Maybe after dinner, he's going to go flashing. <laughs> Here you go, Pop. Oh, thank you, Carl. Thank you. Grandpa, why do you drink liquor? Well, I never could figure out what else to do with it. <laughs> Samantha, help Pop with his coat, will you? Oh, that's all right. I'm back. I can do it. Uh, have, hold it. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> you just want to kiss, Grandpa. Oh, no, thank you, darling. Next time, let's double the bet. Two kisses or nothing. Oh, Grandpa, let me take this coat before you overheat. From your mouth to God's ear. <laughs> what was that all about? I'm dying to know what's in that letter. All I need is one quick snoop. Well, maybe he doesn't want you to know what's in that letter. Of course he doesn't want me to know what's in that letter. That's why I have to know what's in that letter. <laughs> 
Papa, uh, that's enough checkers. Why don't you go talk to Katie and Julie? Uh. Yeah, Grandpa, come take a look at the family album. Stanley, you're tapping your foot. You know what that means. Oh, she's asking, she's sending me to the bathroom. <laughs> Hey, Mom, come on now. You're not supposed to read somebody else's mail without their consent. This is a private letter and should only be read by the addressee. If I were to read this, like this, <laughs> it would be a violation of the law. Uh-oh, this is bad. It's another woman. I knew it. I'm paying for all those headaches. <laughs> no, it's a notice from the owner of your apartment building. They're turning the place into a condo. Well, what's going to happen to us? Well, they give the tenant first crack at buying the apartment. Buying it? We can't even afford to rent it. Oh, now, don't go to pieces, Mom. I'll be out on the street. Oh, come on, Grandma. Like a gypsy or a hooker. <laughs> Only I'll be too old to be any good at it. Look, why don't you kids go upstairs and do your homework, huh? We got some family business to discuss. Uh-oh. They're gonna talk about sex. <laughs> ho, ho. I see the CIA is out tonight. Look, your family can't spy you. Who else can? Oh, Shizatsky, Mildred Steam's opened all my mail. The envelopes smell like orange pico. <laughs> Look, uh, now that we know about your apartment going condo, believe me, there's nothing to worry about. Who's going to give me $60,000? Hmm? Not the tooth fairy. I ran out of teeth long ago. <laughs> You got two sons that love you. If you have to buy the apartment, we'll come up with the down payment. Oh, charity, huh? A handout for my sons. Forget it. Well, he may forget it, but I still remember all the hours I put in changing your diapers. We'll take the money. Never. I'd rather sit on the curb in a loincloth like Gandhi. I'm leaving. No, you're not. For once, you're going to listen to me. Oh, yeah? There he goes, turning off the hearing aid. <laughs> Nothing worse than a man you can't nag. Pop, don't do this. I'm your son. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> oh. There, you're turned on. Now listen. Grandpapa, why don't you let the chief help you? Where are you going? I'm leaving. Well, you haven't got a car. I'll walk. Look, I'll drive you home. Just, just wait here until I get my car keys. Stanley, let your sons help you. In a pig's patootie. <laughs> Look, I'll arrange a loan from our own bank. A loan? They turned you down for a calendar. <laughs> but I've got a contact now, a certain Gregory Wellington. He has an inside track to the loan department. Excuse me, Grandpa. Listen, tomorrow I'm going shopping. Why don't I take you to the bank? Well, all right, but I know how you've been looking at me, so no funny business. Mr. Kineski. Oh, we've been expecting you. Hi, G.W., that's very kind of you. Uh, Dell, I'd like to present uh, Gregory Wellington, my contact. Your contact? <laughs> that's your contact. Your brain is overdrawn. <laughs> this is our uh, Mr. Swinburne. <clears throat> Jason Swinburne the third. I am Stanley Kineski the first. <laughs> Mel Hopper. My folks lost count. <laughs> you see, Nell drove me down here. Oh, a lady chauffeur. Oh, is that your full-time job? When I ain't doing the windows, yeah, yes. <laughs> right. Well, now, uh, Wellington, our trusted guard here, uh, Wellington, huh? oh, yeah. uh, informs me that you're both here to apply for a loan. 
It seems that the uh, Waverly Arms apartment building is going condominium. Yeah, that's Latin for kick the old folks out. <laughs> Right. Well, what can we do for you? Well, I need a loan for a mortgage and a very small down payment. You want us to loan you both? You got a deal. I'll take it. <laughs> First, we have the matter of the application. Just a few simple, routine questions. <laughs> now, uh, may I have your full name? Stanley Konishki. We must know your age. Do you have a birth certificate? Yes, indeedy. Somewhere in Poland. <laughs> Believe me, the man was born. Oh, it just came to me. I'm 77. <laughs> 77, Ralph, sir. How can you possibly pay off a 30-year mortgage? You'd be 107. Why should it bother you? His father's going to co-sign. <laughs> and who knows? By then, I may have a job. <laughs> no job? Uh... Sir, may I just ask, what is your current source of income? Social Security. <laughs> That's all? Well, my big money comes from picking aluminum cans out of garbage. <laughs> the recycling center gives me 17 cents a pound. Well, that's not very much. Well, perhaps not, but my savings account in this bank comes to five figures. Five figures. $112.33. <laughs> Mr. Kaniski, I'm afraid we're going to have to turn your application down. What if I put up my car as security? Or, or my wife? They're both only a little damaged. <laughs> Sorry. Rejected. Wait a minute. You mean you're going to turn away this poor old man? You're going to turn him down for a loan? <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you going now? I'm going to withdraw my Christmas club. <laughs> Next window, please. Tootsie, I want to draw my Christmas club. <laughs> you can't do that. And why can't I? It's not Christmas. Well, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this year. Sorry. I'm taking my break. If you don't give me my Christmas club money, I'm going to break something that you weren't counting on. Yes, well, uh, I will have to uh, speak with one of our officers. Oh, do that. I came here for money, and I'm not leaving without it. Well, get this, you old goat. I wouldn't loan you two cents if you changed your name to Reagan and danced Swan Lake. I don't have to stand here and listen to this kind of thing. What are you doing? What have you got there? You turn me off, I'm going to turn you off. You're going to off me? You're going to off me? Excuse me, sir, excuse me, but that uncouth woman over there is demanding money. Shh. He's hiding a gun in his jacket. Gum on my jacket? There's no gum on my jacket. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Here's my gun. We surrender. <laughs> a cigarette lighter? I don't want prizes, I want cash. Cash, yes, it's in the vault in the back room. The uh, bathroom, now you're talking. <laughs> Gregory, Gregory, show him the way. What you got your hands up for? I'm the one that has to go. Uh, hold up, Nell. Hold up, I'll be with you. All right, Grandpa. Hold up! It's a hold up. Yes. Did, did, did that old man say, hold up? Yes, and I'm tired of waiting for my money, too. They better give me mine. Uh, are you with him? Yes. Ah! Oh, child, please do something about your breath. Water. 
water, water, yes. the water, the woman demands water. <laughs> What's wrong with that idiot? Oh, the bank is being held up. There's a man with a gun in the vault. <gasps> oh, Grandpapa, I gotta get Grandpapa bigger. Oh, if I should get hurt. Grandpapa! What are you? Some sort of a wise guy? No, 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 not me. I thought you were taking me to the John. Are you kidding? With a gun, you can go wherever you want. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find it myself. Ah, oh, please, please, no bloodshed, especially mine. I'll give you all the money. What? Uh, I'll give you all the money. Well, I'm glad you've come to your senses. Now, look, I've got a neighbor who'd like a loan, too. Uh, Phil, uh, Phil Sachs. Phil Sachs, right. Phil Sachs, everybody. Tell us, Phil the Sachs with money, everybody. Right. <laughs> Now, now, get off your knees. We don't have to beg for the money. They're giving it to us. No, Grandpa, there's been a robbery. Yeah, I think they stole the bathroom. No, no, please, oh, Well, I'd better go tell the guard. No, Grandpa, I hit the ground! Uh, uh, here's your water, ma'am. You want a light? <laughs> oh, no, no, don't give it to me now. The bank's being robbed. That's why I'm giving it to you. Oh, I get it. You want me to sneak out with it? That's what I do. Do I need to sign for this? Oh, no, that's all right. We know who you are. You're Clyde and she's Bonnie. <laughs> and you're Daffy Duck. No, you don't have to flatter him. I've got the money. Let's go. Hold it. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. If you got all the money, who is robbing the bank? He is! He has nothing to do with this! Oh, of course. I see now. You're the brains behind all this. Oh, of course. How clever of you to use an old man as a front for that condo story. Oh, what makes you think that he did it? Because he's got a gun. He's got two guns. Grandpapa, you got a gun. Well, yeah, he gave it to me as a gift. But it's not a real gun. It's a cigarette lighter. <laughs> That plant made a suspicious move. Grandpa, give me the gun. I can't hear, Nell. There must be some trouble in the neighborhood. Attention in the bank. This is the police. We've got you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Now, that's the chief. If they, if that's the yeah, chief. Yeah, he'll straighten all this out. Wait a minute. Do you know the chief of police? Yes, I work for him, and this is his father. They're all in this together. We're doing it. This is your last warning. Come out with your hands up. We want to avoid using tear gas due to cuts in our budget. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm sending in the SWAT team. Go get him, Simpson. Yeah. All right, you monster. Reach for the sky. I want to see armpits. <laughs> Where are they? There they are. You caught the whole gang. I don't see them. Are they all hiding behind Nell? <laughs> They're not hiding. That's them. Them who? That's my father, and that's my housekeeper, Nell. I can explain this, Chief. If somebody would explain it to me first. That old man's carrying a gun. Should I shoot him, Chief? Simpson, that's my father. Oh, yeah, you better turn your back while I do it. Put that away. What's going on? Well, why didn't you ask the man with a gun? Pop, what's this all about? Chief, promise me you won't get mad. Don't shoot me. Where did you get this? From your father. Pop, what the 
hell were you doing with a gun? The, the guard gave it to him. Because he's got another gun under his jacket. This is nothing but a hearing aid. You were going to hold up a bank with a hearing aid? I wasn't going to hold anything up. I came here for a loan, and they gave it to me. Oh, will you just give me this, you degenerate old man? Look, you had 77 years to get some brains and learn how to save some money. But would you do it? Oh, no, you took the easy way out. You grab a gun and you barge into my bank and put us all through hell. Hold it, Sonny. Stop flapping your jaws. <laughs> it's my turn now. And I've got a few things to say. You say I, I had no brains and didn't learn how to save my money. Well, you tell me how I could save much money. I was busting my butt, putting my kids through school, trying to feed the family and keep a decent home. And now that I'm 77 years old, the money I've saved isn't worth a lick of spit. I came in here to get a loan. Not charity, not a gift, not a handout, but a loan that I intended to pay back every cent of it. But you wouldn't give me the money. The only one you'd give it to is a man with a gun. Now, why? Why is it easier in this country for a crook to get money than an honest man? I may be an old man, but I... I may be an old man, but I am a man, and I'm not getting the respect I deserve. Sir, sir, you deserve more than respect. And I want you to know that my bank has a warm heart. And that's why I want you to open your own personal account so that I can have the pleasure of giving you a free waffle iron. Thank you so much. And we want you to feel free to stop by any time and sit on it. <laughs> That's a really great picture of you, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, you're a real handsome dude. Uh... You look real pretty now. Of course. Who wouldn't look pretty holding a big sack of money? <laughs> oh, Shazatsky, my zipper's at half mast. <laughs> Your problems are over. You mean I'm dead? I went down to your building and saw your landlord. Oh, he's dead. Uh, no, but I think that I was able to straighten him out. How'd you do it? By using my charm and wit. Oh, police brutality. I merely pointed out a few things to him. Like what? Like all the building violations I'd have to report if he decided to go condo. The cracks, the holes, the bad plumbing. You mean you went down there and pretended to be a building inspector? Oh, wait a minute. Your father wouldn't do something as low as that, would you, Chief? Of course not. I got somebody to do it for me. <laughs> you got something coming up loose over there, Chief. What finally happened? The landlord suddenly changed his mind. He decided not to go, Kondo. Oh, Uh-oh. This wire is all frayed. I have to cite you for another violation, Chief. Keep away from that, Simpson. But if you ever decide to go Kondo, you could be in big trouble. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think so, but I'm having a little trouble breathing. That's because I'm choking you. 